okay today we'll be discussing about an interesting problem um, and we'll be solving this problem with map command okay so i think that problem also uh, somebody posted in answers.splunk.com so um, i have posted solution for there as well so i thought it will be an interesting use case for map command so i'll just create a video so so let's start so before that let me give you the problem statement okay so there is a look of file over here if you see product underscore detail dot csv so in that lookup there are three columns one is the product name then the product id start and product id end that means a product id range if you see it here okay now in your data we have our type okay and the product id value okay single value so the problem is we need to look up this particular lookup file and to find out whether whether the product id belongs to which range okay then take that corresponding product name okay and display it okay so as, as you have seen in normal lookup scenario we generally uh, matching one one by one like right? it's a one to one mapping uh, with the index data and the and the lookup data it may be one to more one to more mapping but the thing is that the lookup the index data has to have a column which holds the value of a matching value of a particular lookup column but in this case it is completely different right so we cannot solve this problem by using a normal lookup command okay so we'll see how we can do this with the map command okay so for that what i have done i have created uh, this lookup file so if i just show you here in my search and reporting so input look up our product underscore detail okay so if i see i have three rows over there so i'll just create another search window so we'll see the index equals to main okay so i have two rows over there so i'll just take two uh, two columns over there one is the type another is the product id okay product id product id okay so the thing is i have to i will be send i will be sending this product id uh, to the map command now okay and then in the map command we'll be writing a code uh, where it will search for that range whether that particular already belongs to that range or not then it will give you give us corresponding product name okay the um, end result should be the product name has to be there okay then the type and the product id okay so we'll see that so as you have seen previously in my video with the map command so this is how we can use a map command the command then there is a input called search where you can run a search for each and every row of the outer search okay so inside double quotes you have to give the search so i'll be giving the search as input lookup okay so this is how i'll be calling this lookup okay product details so this is the one i am basically running here right mm, okay let me delete this one so now my logic should be let's say my product id is 2014 right so i will be writing something like this mm, where right so 14 should be between this and this that means 14 should be greater than product id start right so product id start should be less than 14 and it has to be um, product id end right and it has to be equals to as well because um, it may happen that the product id is same uh, is same as 20 or 11 right in some cases so then product id end right so it has to be product id 
end has to be greater than or equals to 14 right so if i do this if you see it is only giving me this range right that means this product name it will be giving the ice cream so similar stuff we'll be doing it over there as well so we'll just copy this code we'll paste it over here okay now instead of 14 we need the product id right so this is how we pass into the uh, map right within this uh, double dollar you will be giving this product id so that this uh, product id value from the outer search will be passed passed over here right copy this one so let's run this and see how it's how it's behaving so if you see now for product id 11 right so mm, okay so now if you see it is just giving me these three columns product id end product start and product name because map always gives this search output okay to get the uh, but we need this type as well product id as well right and the product name so to pass the type and product will be doing the similar way as we have done the product id right so what we will do we will create a eval through eval we will be creating eval type equals to dollar dollar our type correct and then we can create another field called product id equals to dollar dollar whatever product id we have similar way right so here i'm just creating new fields here with eval and then we need our product name as well but in this case our product name is already available as a part of lookup so i'll be just copying this one okay so now let's see how it's behaving okay it is not giving me anything because of i think i need to give table okay sorry i have included product name inside the eval so i have to include product name inside the table so table it will be type type product id and then the product name so let's copy it from here product name product name let's see yeah so if you see why it is not created the type let's see in the index index equals to main so the type may have this one it should be creating this let me see it again type purchase maybe it is a string because of that we need to have double quotes here and if it is double quotes and it is inside double quotes so we have to escape it here as well because my whole whole search is in is the input of a of this search parameter right so i need a double quote here so let me try to run this yes so so i got my type i got my product id and then i got my name and if you see it over here for product id 14 right so if i if we just go back to our lookup file i can i can show it from here as well mm. So if I go back here, so 14 is a ice cream because the range is 11 to 20, right? So that's why it is giving us ice cream over here. For 25, it is this range, right? So it's biscuit. So this is how you can you can query a lookup using a map command to look for a range okay so i thought this is a good use case of map command hopefully it will be useful for you guys see you in next video